Welcome to my channel. I'm Amparucci and today I'm going to show you guys how to make these delicious cherry nut cookies. These are another Christmas favorite. But before we get started, don't forget if you enjoyed this video to give it a big thumbs up, click down below and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed, and click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post new recipe videos. So to get started on these cookies, I have a half cup of vegetable shortening. To that I'm going to add a half cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one egg. And I'm going to mix this all together. So after whipping the mixture for like a minute or two, it should be nice and fluffy like this. Now to that, I'm going to add one cup of Bisquick and mix that in. Another cup. And a half. You can definitely use all-purpose flour for this recipe if you don't want to use Bisquick or don't have Bisquick. I would start off with just one cup of all-purpose flour and obviously if you need more just keep adding by a quarter cup. And you just want to be able to roll the dough into balls and it still be tacky but not sticky enough to stick to your hands. Now to this I'm going to add three quarter cups of mixed nuts. This recipe is a recipe that I found in a cookie book and it was originally made with walnuts and then throughout the years I changed it to pecans because I feel like it tastes much better. But I didn't have enough pecans so I have a mixture of a quarter cup of crushed pistachios, a quarter cup of crushed almonds, and a quarter cup of crushed pecans. And I'm gonna add this all in here. And make sure they're, they're really well crushed. You don't want huge chunks. and your dough should look something like this. So to make my cookies, I divided my batter in half and I'm going to make one half today because this is a large batch. And then I placed the other half in a Ziploc bag or you can place it in an airtight container, date it, and you can freeze this for like two to three months. So I have half of my batter here. And what you want to do is just form little balls and these are about one inch to maybe like one and a quarter inch balls. You can also weigh them if you want to be exact. These don't spread out much but you still want to leave a little bit of space in between them. Alright so I just rolled them out to see how much each half gives me and each half gives me 12 cookies. So this whole recipe is gonna give you 24 cookies, which is two dozen. I'm not gonna bake these all today, so I'm gonna take a few away. And then now what you wanna do is grab your thumb and imprint your thumb in the middle of each cookie. With clean hands, of course. And then you're gonna grab some maraschino cherries and place a cherry in the center of each cookie. They already look beautiful. And I'm gonna bake these at 350 degrees for nine to 10 minutes, no more than 10 minutes. So after about nine to 10 minutes, this is what the cookies look like. And you want to let these cool at room temperature for a few minutes. Here are the delicious cookies when they're done. I hope that you guys enjoyed this super easy and extra delicious Christmas cookie tutorial. If you guys did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and if you try this recipe, tag me on Instagram. Also, don't forget to check out my blog for the full written recipe. It will be linked ahead and down below in the description. And check out these other delicious recipe videos.